my next project. It's a little old trolley. Apparently it was, it's over 70 years old. It was made by a company called Ridgeley's. And uh, what I'm going to do is try and renovate it. It was my next door neighbours. It belonged to the farm. And it's been left outside for many, many, many years. And it's gone pretty rusty. As you can see, all the wood has decayed away. And I'm going to try and rescue it and rebuild it. It's got four wheels. And all of the wheels seem pretty well busted, to be honest. The wheel rims, as you can see, the wheel rims are all rusted away and hanging off. They were intact as soon as I tried putting some air into the tyres, they did pump up and then the rims just flew off them. The thing is generally quite rusty, but I reckon it's a worthwhile trailer when it's done up. Just move the camera around. You can see that it's got a quite a nice turntable here. The wheels go right underneath the trolley. Right, it's, it's still pretty intact, but it's a bit rusted up. Some of the framework is quite rusty, and as you can see from the front here, the front piece is actually rusted right through. It's pretty bad condition. It's still intact, but it's not very strong. But what I've got some angle iron in the shed, and I'm going to replace that bit of angle iron. Rear end of the trailer. The most of the metalwork is there, but the wood has decayed away, as as is, can be expected. The wheels and tires have had it. This actual real wheel rim isn't too bad, but the tire is in pretty dire condition, as you can see. It's bulging and the rubber has all perished so the only answer really is a set of four new wheels which are not easy to get. There should be two each end, they are handed and I've managed to find four of the six brackets but two are still missing but I can probably make pickle some up from some of the metal I've got. The reason I'm showing it now is normally when I do something up I do it up and then take photographs to show off what I've done, but I never have a picture of what it's like originally, so I thought I'd do this bit of filming first, and then later on I can show you what the final result's like. That's if I ever manage to get it done. I had a look on eBay, and I managed to find this set of four wheels complete with tyres, which I think are pretty good value. If you have a look at them, they've got ball bearings, uh, but both sides of the, each wheel two ball bearings in each wheel and the, the actual ball bearing size the center hole is one inch in diameter which happens to be exactly the right size for this little trailer so I was really lucky there I've got four of them and they were very very reasonable I think they were 14 pound something each wheel or if you bought four they dropped down to 11 pound 40 when you consider that includes the tire the tube and the wheel rims with two bearings I think that's pretty good value and they're quite hefty tyres as well, as you can see. Well, I mean hefty. They're hefty enough, put it that way. They're quite um, wide enough. The, the only drawback is they are a tiny, tiny little bit too small in diameter. I think these are 14 inches, and the original ones are around about just over 15, almost 16 inches. But I don't think that'll make a difference. I reckon with these on, it should run quite nicely, especially with the ball bearing. It appears that the trolley was made by a company called Wessex Industries and this particular one was called the Ridgely. It was, the company was based in Poole in Dorset but I believe they're no longer in business.